Hey, what's up, guys? We are Fox here and Bebop. What the hell? You gotta come with me. Oh, Joe, Minecraft teacher. There's there's been some breakthroughs in quantum Minecraft block science. Okay, well, uh, I don't know what that means, but uh, let's go. Ah, yes! Get ready for some craziness that's gonna be hard to understand, but it's an amazing mod. And I'm here with the Minecraft teacher, Joel. What's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing, man? So I hear you have a bunch of crazy for me, uh, yeah. including uh, Google is even somewhat involved in this, I hear. Uh, yeah, well, uh, some some uh, friends at Google are actually the ones that sort of uh, got this whole thing started. Um, we, got, we made a mod called QCraft. Uh, my my friends at uh, Teacher Gaming and Eli Media, we got some scientists from Caltech involved, and we got none other than uh, Dan Two Hundred, the uh, the guy who made Computer Craft, and we all came together and we made Q Craft. And are, are you ready for me to drop some science on you? You pretty much have to kind of hold my hand through all this because my mind's blown. <laughs> Well, all right. Well, I, you know, I didn't really have time to set up like a big crazy demo world, but I, I did do something. Like if we if we uh, if you fly over this way with me, uh, did, it, did did we pass it? Did, did you maybe turn around? Did you break it? What the? What? <laughs> How many people have you hired to build things? What? Are you <laughs> no, no. What? I, I just used the power of quantum science. Quantum so science can spell. <laughs> Well, I, I can spell. I, I built this. So I, I built your name here out of um, some entangled quantum blocks. Okay. Um, so, so, so in QCraft, we took some of the principles of quantum science, the idea that blocks can be entangled, that they can be in superpositional states, yeah. uh, all, all these big words, right? And, and we kind of translated them into into Minecraft blocks, yeah. uh, into, into fun, interesting things you can do with Minecraft. So these blocks are ob observationally dependent, which is a word we use in quantum science that just means that it depends on how you observe something, it might change. Now, okay. when you're talking about, you know, particles on the quantum scale, you know, maybe these particles are changing their charge, they're changing their spin. But when you're talking about Minecraft blocks, they might mm -hmm. change the type of block. So if you come over here, hold on. I gotta put on my. I'm gonna put on my uh, protective eyewear here. Uh -oh. That will prevent me from uh, interfering with the the experiment. Should I wear mine or no? My eyes no, will leave, be fine. Leave, leave them off for now. But if you come over here, I'll still have eyesight, right? You're not trying to kill me. Just break it. <laughs> Wait, oh, that's there. gold. Yep. Okay. Um, and that's representative of things that actually happen in the real world on on the quantum scale. But we've just made it big. We've made it happen on a macro level, on a Minecraft level. Yeah. And, and some other interesting properties that that come with this that that let people build some interesting things. Like if you come over this way and then look at it again, so and you'll change see, the wood. It what? changed to wood. So now not <laughs> only did it change its appearance to wood, but it actually now takes on the property of wood. Now that it's made of wood, it should actually burn. I can burn your oh. name to the ground. That, thanks for that. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Big picture here is that we want more people to be aware that things aren't as they seem on the on the quantum scale, on a really tiny scale. That there's more to this world, there's more to science than meets the eye. Um, because this is really important. People are starting to build quantum computers. You know, NASA and Google just uh, bought a quantum computer that they're experimenting oh, with. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it's going to take a number of years for these computers to become commonplace, but it's really going to be life changing. Um, it's really going to change what we as humans are able to do with our technology. And, you know, it's 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 the kids of today. It's all of these millions of kids that are playing Minecraft that are going to grow up to be quantum scientists and, and, and program these computers and build them. And so we want them to be familiar with with these concepts now. I'm really jealous of your glasses. I want to wear them. <laughs> well, you can, you know what? Go into your inventory and find, <laughs> find those green glasses. Okay. There we go. Okay. It's like a giant TV screen. Yeah. So these actually reveal uh, everything that's going on on a quantum level. So, ah. you should, so all of the quantum blocks, they'll actually um, shimmer like that because they're in a superpositional state. So that's another word that we want people familiar with. Um, and that's why we've used it in the mod. So. Oh, now it's cold. Things that are, are in superposition mean they're actually more than one thing at once. They're two things at the same time. You may have heard of the Schrodinger's cat experiment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a cat in a box, and he's both dead and alive. Not until you open um, it. 
Exactly. Once you open it and observe the cat, he either resolves to either being dead or alive. So these blocks are in a superpositional state and they don't resolve to be on either diamond or gold or wood or even invisible completely until you look at it. You can make a little trap doors as well, just trapped areas and yeah, yeah. entire so, buildings disappear, I guess. Yeah, and, and <laughs> we've done that kind of things in the, in the name of science, purely. Of course. We've, we've, in fact, we've killed many cats. We, we have reconstructed <laughs> the Schrodinger's cat experiment in Minecraft using poor, this mod. Poor kitties. So like, how often does this mod get updated? Uh, it's been updated pretty rapidly. Um, you know, it's going to, you know, we're not exactly sure what the next steps are going to be. We, we kind of want to see what, how people are using it, what they're building with it, where they want it to go next. Um, but like we've been updating really rapidly basically to get to this point where we have like a real killer feature that mm. whether or not you're interested in quantum science, like we think this is something that's just genuinely useful and interesting to all Minecraft players. Yeah. But of course using the power of quantum science. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, so this this fancy gate here. Uh, why, why don't you, uh, why don't you uh, hop on through that <laughs> Okay. <laughs> just, just let me die first, that's fine, okay. Yeah. Uh, would you like to take your items with you to the IP address? Uh, yeah. yeah, if it fails, so you can click, rejoin server. Go ahead, click yes. And so I'm dead. Okay. I'm I'm here in so, an entire different world with testificates. That's right. So it may not be totally obvious what just happened, but you actually just teleported yourself, your person, your items to a whole new server. You're in a new world. Uh, I like. So, so people can use QCraft, people can use quantum science to link their worlds together. And again, this is, you know, we implemented this because it's a fun, useful Minecraft thing to do, yeah. but it also has connections and analogies to things that really happen in quantum science. And it makes it it makes it logical, which I like a lot because I mean, obviously they they have server to server ways in, you know, in servers already. But, you know, this makes it all logical and it makes it so people can create their own, you know, if yeah. they want to go to their favorite server, yeah. if and, they already and, have one. And one thing that sets this apart, I, I'm pretty sure none of the other mods that let you connect worlds, do you do it in game? You can't do it legit. You can actually do this legit. You can go into the caves, mine some quantum okay. ore, start making your blocks, configure the blocks, entangle them. Um, build quantum computers and link your servers together. So you so, can do it totally legit. Yeah, so John's are just playing creative then and going all willy-nilly. Yeah, well, I mean, we're, we're kind of a bunch of big cheaty pants here today yeah. just to demonstrate. This would probably um, take a lot longer. <laughs> yeah. What is the ratio of uh, the powder that you need to make things? Let's see. Uh, well, think... it's it's like uh, you take <laughs> your quantum dust and then you take like five of them. You find a the corner market and then yeah, just the uh, <laughs> alleyway. I gotcha. Well, I, I, you know, I don't want to ruin all of it. There's, there's a lot of fun <laughs> experimentation in, in figuring all this out for yourself. But then there's other cool things you can do, like um, th this, uh, these pillars here. Yeah. They're actually, they're actually what we call a, a quantum frame. Really very uh, They are defining an area. The area inside the frame, which is partly made of uh, our quantum blocks, uh, has some very special properties. If you uh, use that computer there, either by by using it or by flicking the redstone switch here. Okay, so I can will... energize from here or I can actually just do a normal, okay. Well, hold on, let me turn it off. Okay, now go for it. <laughs> Already broke it. There we go, okay, oh, wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Didn't kill me, I'm alive, I'm happy. Right, so what happens- That's crazy. Here... Yep, so we have this appearing what? and disappearing house. Now it's actually not turning invisible. Oh, wait, what did if I, I just stand here? Wait, wait. Did I just telefrag you? What does that mean? Oh, that's an old quake term. <laughs> um, wait, wait, hit a. again, hit it again. You, know, you gotta know your roots. Okay. I didn't know that one. I didn't play a lot of quake. I played, you know, all the <laughs> doom and modded doom. It, ah, it, okay. Yeah, you're okay. No, no, I'm, I'm still here. Oh. You're partly a wall now, but. Yeah, I just can't get in or out. F5 doesn't help. <laughs> okay. Ah! Quantum physics kills kids. All right, so what's happening here is we're actually using the power of, of quantum computers. Quantum computers uh, can process a tremendous amount of data in different ways than classical computers have. So what this quantum computer has actually done, it, it, it has stored, it has quantized all mm -hmm. of the information inside these pillars. Okay. So you could, for example, build a house as I have done, put a quantum computer in it, and then store that information. You could quantize uh. it, and, and that whole house is stored inside this computer. That and what you could cool. actually do is you could take a pickaxe, and you could pick up this computer and 
carry it to a new location, uh -huh. build a, an identical matrix, and then dequantize it, and thereby moving your house. This will actually sort of allow people to kind of copy and paste their their constructions, their buildings, uh, from one place to another. Insane. So, right. is there well, a limit to how far? There, there's well, the next step is. <laughs> Since we have the ability to travel from one world to another, yeah, um, you could quantize your house on one server, pick up that block, travel to another server, dequantize it over there. Oh, that, Everybody... that's the normal, normal Saturday, man. I dequantize right. stuff all the time. <laughs> what are you... Totally. That's insane. That's yeah, so, so cool. You know, like th this whole thing, you know, it's not hard science. There, there's no math involved, and and obviously this is not the way exactly the way things work on the quantum level. But you know, we we are taking these analogies of the way things work on the quantum scale in order to make them more accessible and understandable. I mean, our hope is that there's there's kids out there or adults out there who are intrigued by this stuff and they go and Google it, they look it up on Wikipedia and they, and they learn more about the words like superposition, entanglement, observational dependency, yeah. uh, things like that. Or, you know, maybe these uh, these kids will be in a, in a physics class later in life and the teacher will start talking about these, these really sort of hard to understand concepts like entanglement and they'll go, oh, you know, I, I know what that means because I played it in Minecraft. Yeah, and, you'll get and, the basics and, of understanding, Elliot. Yeah, I mean, and and to me, that's that's the power of using games like Minecraft in in school. Is it is it really allows you to like uh, have these experiences, have them be real, have them be visceral, have have them be fun, um, and and talk about the really challenging concepts that are that are difficult to learn from 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 just a book. Dude, that is so awesome. So, do you guys already have like a massive listing of everything you want to add still? Or are you just uh, waiting yeah. on what the community does? Well, I mean, we, we've started, We I, I haven't really demonstrated this, but we've started to kind of like dip our toe into the redstone world. Like, okay. so for example, I showed you blocks that change from, you know, gold to wood and, and take on the characteristic. Well, what if that block changed into a redstone block? Suddenly mm. sending a redstone signal. Uh, this mod actually allows for things like wireless redstone um, because you can entangle two blocks. And you know, and when one area receives a signal and turns into a redstone block very far away, that other entangled block may turn into redstone and enable wireless redstone. And there's all, I mean, I've seen, I've seen like disappearing walls and secret doors. I've seen houses that turn from like just a simple house into a big castle. Um, I, I played a trick on my friend the other day. I had them go over a, a, a bridge over lava and it was mm -hmm. like, oh, you're going over bridge over lava. Oh wait, now look at it. That bridge is actually made of air. And you know. They yeah, die. yeah. Now you can already get your hands on this, but are you working like with other people and putting in mod packs because it's always updating? It's, it's this mod is actually already in some of the most popular uh, mod packs. Okay. If you are using uh, FTB Unleashed as well as some of the newer one uh, 1.6.4 uh, FTB mod packs, you mm -hmm. you have QCraft. If you are using Techit or Hex Hexit, mm -hmm. Hexit's probably my favorite mod pack out there. Um, so Hexit has QCraft built in, which is really interesting because it's it's a magic and an adventure based mod mod pack but yeah. you know i spent a lot of time talking to the the folks behind uh, the the technic mod launcher who make hexit um and and we actually found that that this kind of stuff is really sort of bridging the gap between technology and magic oh yeah um, i can see that you no know? and Making and it's really it. tantalizing it's really tantalizing because things like wormholes time travel teleportation these really far out sciencey science fiction star trek concepts these are things that um, you know. Eventually, we might be able to do through the through our understanding of quantum physics. By the way, since we're here, you know, hey, if you want Minecraft in your school, there you go, Minecraft Edu. It's all set up, and he's the one who started it. Yeah, so yeah, you know, know, we're we're in a lot of schools, and you know, every every month we sell to even more schools. Like, yeah, it's been doing it. God, how many years now? Oh man, I've known you for a while. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've been doing this for almost three years. Yeah, almost I was gonna say. In like in like January 2011, I started teaching myself. You know, it wasn't I didn't talk to Bojang. I was just yeah. this teacher using this crazy alpha game called Minecraft in my classroom. Yeah, um, that's wild. And just, I, I think it was Minecraft like Monday show episode 10 or something. <laughs> it was pretty early. It was it was way back early. Uh, but now, you know, I mean, my my comp I started a company. I'm actually not teaching full time anymore. Believe it or yeah, not. Yeah, it's wild. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm, uh, 
Yeah, so I started a company. It's called Teacher Gaming, and uh, I, I I know this is this is a, a Minecraft thing, but uh, maybe I'll just sneak in that. Yeah, it's uh, awesome. so I, my company actually just uh, started working with uh, our, our second game. Yeah. Uh, so we will now be making Kerbal Edu based on uh, the ah. Kerbal program. Oh, that's is perfect. <laughs> Hello, right? So it's you know it's another indie game that a lot of people love. It's got an active mod community. Yeah. And, Underneath the hood, it's, there's some real physics, there's some real science, um, and so we're, we're going to bring that to a lot of classrooms as well. Hey, what'd you build over here? What is this? Oh, it's this thing. Yeah, you should check it out. What the hell? What the? Ah, the quantum physics! I killed ah! you with science! I ah. killed you with science! <laughs> and I was in creative mode. Woo! <laughs> so, oh, well. that's uh, one nice sneaky way. I like that. That's, uh, <laughs> that's evil. Well, hey, thanks for showing me quantum craft. Jeez. That's... Yeah, yeah. This has been a lot of fun to make. It's been a really cool project working with like Dan Two Hundred and Eli and in. scientists at Caltech and the friends at Google, and it's just that's it's wild. So cool that we're finally building with it. Name dropping like a mofo for a Minecraft that's mod. That's awesome. <laughs> well, all your links are down below, guys. Be sure to check it out and hit like if you made it this far through all this science. So, see you guys next time, and as always, mods to you.